That was the director, Don. Um, he, was, um, he was a real difficult to try and guy to work with and work for, to be honest with you, but he's very creative and funny. And um, he put a lot into that show. And uh, we worked together a lot on getting Sosuke just right. And, uh, yeah, that was all him. He was, he's very creative. He still does a lot of work in Houston, but just not in that field. Uh, out of the three camps, what do you feel, uh, which one do you feel is the most acceptable to your talent, the most accommodating to your talent? Um, probably Funimation. They really take chances on, uh, on untested talent. They hear something that they like. Um, you know, and I'm not saying that they'll, uh, someone tells them someone's good, they're not going to be like, oh, okay, sure, we'll fly them here to Dallas and we'll put them to work. Um, but they're really open-minded about if this person wants to come in and try to write for this person, so I've heard this person's demo and it's really impressive, I'll at least give them a shot. Um, ADD used to be like that when they were a much bigger company, but now that they've gone through their whole downsizing and transformation and everything, they become Sarah from Digital. Um, I should learn next, I'm going to work with them on Tuesday. Um, so, uh, so they're just not, they don't have the leeway to be as liberal anymore. They're sort of a company that's rebuilding themselves. Um, at the other camp you're talking about, I would assume, is L.A., and that's L.A., so that's sort of like the land of desperate actors, so that's sort of not really an open, they're going to be very, very, very big trucks, they let things work, right? So Funimation has, they're the biggest, you know, for right now, they're the big boys on the block and everything. That will change like everything else. Is. And, um, but right now, they're so big and, and sort of um, gigantic that they, they get things. They're the ones who are the most important. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, did you have some? Yeah. Okay. So, say, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, what do you want me to say? Um, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm running out of creativity for the weekend. <laughs> I've spoken like six weeks ago. Hmm. Let's see. After he's been hit by the fan. Or hit by anything that can destroy the fan. Jerry, are you still on here? Toski would never say that, but I would, so that's what <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, what would you say was your most difficult role, either physically or emotionally? A lot of them are difficult. As far, a lot of them are difficult just as far as uh, being vocally commanding. But, um, <coughs> Probably the one that combined vocal vocal fatigue with um, emotional fatigue the most was uh, Ayato in Ross. If anyone has seen Ross on, um, yeah, playing Ayato in that show was was really really draining. Sato was a close second because he talked so much and he was always freaking out or going through some incredibly angsty crisis. So um, both of those roles were very difficult. And what's funny is when you get these sort of iconic characters like Reed or Sosuke, and they're like really easy to do because they're sort of, they fall under more of a, a recognizable archetype um, rather than something that's sort of more elusive and uh, I don't, it's hard to describe. Like, like a character like Sato or Ayato is harder to wrap your brain around than like Sosuke is a military nerd and it's funny for the most part. <coughs> Reed is a badass pimp villain, and that's, that's an easy thing, that's easy, you know, you just have to come up with the voice, and once you've done that, you're more than halfway there. So I would definitely go with South Oak, or I have one of those two. Is there a third grade for a criminal panic online? Not that I know of, I keep hearing that there is, like, from fans, <laughs> and I'm like, I think that's the stuff I know. But I hope so, because, um... <laughs>